Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenyatta the Healer. I'm Kenyatta the Architect. On this channel, we destroy and build simultaneously, for there can be no resurrection without destruction. Once again, I'm Kenyatta, but you will refer to me as Miss Kenyatta, Queen, Goddess, Empress, Ma'am, High Priestess, High Empress, or whatever I tell you to refer to me as. I have no enemies. The enemies of God have been defeated, but if God is the creator of both the good and the evil, the light and the dark, God has no enemies. Ye are gods. As well, love and goodwill taken care of within eliminates that without. I will not tolerate anyone stalking me, harassing me, bullying me, or being common with me, or anyone who genuinely supports me on my platform affirmations and you can repeat these affirmations they are not just for me they are for you as well i am wonderful i am marvelous i am magnificent i am splendid i am perfect i am thankful i am grateful i am loved i am loved i am loving i am lovable i am healthy i am wealthy i am wise i am thankful i am grateful did i say that already <laughs> I am the master and creator of my own fate i am the master and creator of my own destiny i am my fate i am my destiny I am the all that is all that ever was and ever shall be, Gemini. This will be a reading for you from the Hoodoo Tarot deck. I wear my red rose in honor of my granny, who is my great, great, great grandmother on my biological mother's side. And she sits here with me now. All right, Gemini, let me get you some good shuffles in. Nice three-way split. Two shuffles I am hearing. One. Two. All right, let's get into it. Here we have the free man in reverse. The big queen upright. Six of baskets in reverse. Ten of coins upright. Gemini. And here we have the strength card upright. Gemini, you are free. Okay. I, maybe you don't feel like you're free or maybe something or someone is holding you back. Maybe this is what you I, I wanted to say uh, feel but I was hearing fear. Okay, that you're going to be held back, that you're not promising, okay, or that you're not going to be able to move forward, that you're not going to be able to succeed, okay, but you are free. I'm here, you are the master and creator of your own fate okay? and of your own destiny. No one else is. Why are you stopping yourself? I'm here, okay. You live in fear of something or someone. I don't know if this is a mother here. Okay. I'm hearing, yes, your mother, what is she going to say? What is she going to think? How is she going to feel? Okay, like maybe you're kind of, uh, oh, well, I feel like this is for a man because I wanted to say I'm hearing maybe you're like a mama's boy, okay? You fear what your mother will think, what she's going to say. Plus, I see the little boy here, of course, with the big queen, okay, or the little man because it's really a man, okay, who, you know, uh, in one respect, the way I'm looking at this, the way I'm seeing this, is like she's control, control is controlling him here. This is how I'm seeing this for this reading. Okay, all right. I'm here like she's got a lot of control over him, or she's got a lot of control over you, over what you do, what you say, how you think, blah blah blah. Okay, but you are no longer a boy. You are no longer her boy. I am hearing you are a man. Okay, but I'm hearing you are her man. <laughs> So it's just like, you know, what they say, what they call them boy husbands or something like that, okay? That's the energy here, okay? Um, I feel like there's some sadness here, okay? I'm hearing something about missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. I'm hearing strike, okay? But I'm uh, was hearing missed opportunity in love and home and fellowship and development. Or maybe the way in which you wanted it. There was a certain way in which you wanted to have a home, okay? With another, okay? With a spouse, a mate, okay? But it did not happen that way. 
I don't maybe I don't feel like maybe your childhood um, it has something to do with your childhood. Okay, maybe you didn't have the uh, greatest childhood. I'm hearing the har I'm, there were harsh memories. Okay, like you have some harsh memories. Okay, growing up. Okay, and maybe even the memories that you have growing up. You know, maybe the way your home was is not what you ideal or what you would have wanted it to be i'm hearing you wanted like mother father sister brother you know all of that type of thing okay maybe i'm hearing about a gate <laughs> okay or maybe like in a gated community in a nice beautiful home that type of thing okay but it just did not fare that way that's not what it became it was something else okay and i, I don't know i'm hearing something like this has destroyed your pride Okay. It's it's hurt you. It's been very hard from you for you. But I feel as though you've tried to be strong through it all. Okay, no matter what, come what may, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to be a man about mine. I'm hearing something about gain and all of that. Okay, and to do the best that I can with what I have, regardless. Okay, of these setbacks in my life, or maybe you know the way things were. Okay, for you. Okay, growing up as a child. Okay, I'm hearing remnants of childhood. Okay. I'm not sure though. It seems like though the, sh the strength that you found wasn't so much strength. Uh, okay, let's continue. I'm not. I I'll get to it. Three of six in reverse. Five of knives in reverse. Pop in reverse. And here we have Black Herman upright. much strength as a uh, harsh you learn how to be harsh okay or mean very harsh like attack on the attack I'll attack uh, you know anyone who comes near me with that you know, I don't know, shit or whatever. If they come near me, I'm going to attack. Don't come near me. So I feel like there's some uh, defensiveness, okay? Well, obviously there is. But at the same time, okay, um, this hasn't worked for you either, okay? Having that kind of, I'm having a mental fortitude, okay? But I want to say attitude, okay, toward life, others, people, okay, being harsh, being, I'm here, I gotta be, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm hearing, you know, like being an asshole, okay, toward others that did not yield you the results that you wanted, okay, maybe you are too afraid, I'm here to release the past, okay, and what it is that you really want, I'm here like you don't really know, okay, or you no longer know what it is, who you are, where you're going, what it is that you want, you really don't know. Okay. I'm hearing like I'm all alone and maybe like a woe is me type of energy. Okay, no one loves me. Okay, what's that song we sing? No one likes me. Everybody hates me. I'm going to eat me some worms. Big ones, fat ones, short ones, juicy ones, itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy worms. <laughs> okay, that's the energy. Okay, all right. But I'm here, but you can do better than that. Okay. It's like having this attitude toward life and towards others. It's like it's nothing there to fight for. Okay. What do I have to fight for? I have no home. I have no love. I have no one. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. But but I feel like this is what you want. You want so much more than this. Okay. You want the possibilities in, in love. I'm hearing in restoration, maybe restoration of self. Okay. There may not have been a father in the home. Right. And I feel like you, you needed one. Okay. Shit, we all need one, okay, in home, that am. Okay, a good one. Okay. Not just the physical presence of a man in the home. A good one. A father. The very definition of. Okay, not just a man, a person with a penis there. Okay. That means nothing. Alright. And that can fare off worse. 
okay, for people if, you know, versus one not being there, okay, if it's just another human being with a penis, okay, but who's not doing anything, who's not taking care of the home, who's not taking care of the children, the nurturing, the loving, the providing, the protecting that a father slash husband man would do. Okay. I'm hearing and feeling that that was not there for you, and that was uh, that is one thing that has completely disempowered you. Okay, and I don't know. He may not have been in the home, but I don't know if you had a relationship with him. I'm hearing I did, and I feel like the relationship that you had with him, I don't know it might have been kind of abusive, and I don't mean physically, I, I possibly, but I feel like more so um, in his speech. Okay, the way he spoke to you. Okay, I feel like it was harsh, mean. Okay. Like, uh, beating you down, okay, not lifting you up, you know, when, whoever there, when he did come around, whatever the relationship was, when he came around, when he was around, there was, it's like there was no love there, just harsh, a harsh reality, okay, like, you ain't shit, you ain't nobody, you, can, you ain't gonna be nothing, okay, boy, you know, that type of thing, okay, you got to get up, you know, off your tail or off your ass and make something of yourself, okay, but you ain't, you, you're not nothing, you, you ain't nobody, okay, it's real harsh here, okay, mistaken, I am hearing, he was sorely mistaken by the way he treated you, the way he spoke to you, the way he talked to you, okay, maybe he understands that now, okay, but he didn't then, maybe that's how he was talked to, you know, Okay, when he was growing up, I'm hearing I was. Okay, let's continue on. We have the garden uh, upright. Ace of baskets upright. And here we have two of sticks here in the reverse. But you know what? I feel like regardless of... The harshness, okay, the heart, your harsh realities or whatever of how you were raised and all of that kind of stuff. This thing that you wanted as a child, I feel like that's still in your heart, okay? You may try to act like it's not this harsh, mean, you know, demeanor that you feel that you have to have, okay? But it's still there. But I feel like, as well, uh, Gemini, this. It either needs to come to an end or it's going to come to an end. It's like it's time to practice self-love, okay? Get out of the harsh, you know, reality, okay? Holding, like, I, didn't I say something earlier about releasing the past, okay? Let it go. Yeah, that might have been in Taurus this week. I'm not sure, okay? But let it go, okay? Stop holding on to this like it's just like your life, like your life depends on it. I got to hold on to this, you know, terrible past, Okay, but I am here. It defines who I am, but that's the very issue. It does define who you are. A mean, harsh reality. Okay, your life is mean. Your life is harsh. You are mean to others. You're mean to yourself. Okay, more so in return. Okay, and being mean and harsh to others, you're being mean and harsh to yourself. I'm here like no one likes that. No one loves that. Okay, no one wants to attempt to like be that with you. Okay, I am hearing. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you got some money or some shit to throw in their ass. Okay, they like that. Okay, but not you. Okay, they may not like you, but maybe if you have things, they like the things. Okay, that that comes with you. Okay, but I feel like it's time for you, from what I'm seeing here, to get to a place where you know, quit vacillating. Okay, should I stay a mean, harsh, you know, person? Okay, making my reality mean and harsh for myself. Okay, or should I give love? <laughs> To myself first, ace of baskets upright, okay, so that I can be loved. See all that just like, flowing up out of that basket, all that love, that life giving, uh, water over there, love, life giving, okay. Now, I just heard something, I don't see it in the cards. I just heard God is going to make you if you don't. I don't know, okay. Let's continue on here. We have Mother of Sticks upright, Ace of Knives upright, and here we have Ten of Baskets in reverse. Okay, let's see. You're going to uh, come across someone in your life, okay? This person is going to hurt you. I'm sorry. And I don't I don't mean I don't think physically hurt you. Dang. I mean this person is going to destroy your rep, okay, or your reputation. They're going to uh, negatively impact your world, your realm, 
okay? Your, I'm even hearing like your outcome, okay? I guess, you know, your outcome in life, okay? I, maybe if you don't change, okay? Or, or get to this place of self-love, okay? Instead of being like, it's like a harsh... I want to, I'm just going to say I'm here because I heard it twice, asshole, okay? This is, it, don't, every Gemini who watch this, don't get mad. Okay. This is for a specific person. You know, you, you can hear things in a reading, okay? It sound like, well, damn, you know? It's like, if that's not your situation, then don't take it personally. I know it can be difficult to right? okay? But then move on. That's not me. That's not my situation. But if you, but if it is, then it's not being said to you to, uh, criticize you and condemn you and destroy you. You know, it's being said so that you can get release the bullshit and the toxicity so that you can grow and become, you know, the great person that you are destined and de designed to be. I'm here and you will become that. Okay. So I'm thinking this is for Gemini, obviously. Okay. But again, there's an energy here that is going to, I keep hearing destroy your rep, okay? They're going to destroy everything that you're about, okay? There's that word harness again, okay? Your reputation, what you stand for. You know, you may be mean and harsh or whatever, but I'm sure there's some values you hold or whatever you stand for that's important to you, okay? This person, they don't give a damn, okay? They're being sent to you, I am hearing, okay? I heard to harsh you, okay, or to be harsh to you, okay? To make you experience, okay, what it is that you have done to others. Oh, shit, wow. I saw this, I just turned on the deck, I saw this, it's going to set your motherfucking ass free. Gullah Jack in reverse. It's going to set you free here, you're going to walk in victory here, and get out your fucking head. This person is here to assist you. Now they may not look at it like that, okay, it doesn't matter. Even I ass helped the prophet on his way, okay. They are going to do They're going to do I feel like so much damage I mean like to your mind Your soul, your being Okay, your reality what you think you know now, what you think you have now, will no longer be, okay? I don't know, I'm hearing cousins, friends, <laughs> okay? Family, newcomers, I don't know, okay? But I feel like whatever your uh, social group is now at this point, it's going to come to an end, okay? At this person's words against you, they're going to destroy you. They're going to destroy you, eliminate you, I am hearing. Okay, but once again, wake up, because what is it going to do? Boom, set your motherfucking ass free. It's going to release this shit that you hold it on to for dear life that is keeping you from self-love and keeping you uh, from what it is that you want. You're going to walk in victory and get the fuck up out of your head. Right now, this is where you are fucking stuck in your head, Gemini. Okay, they're going to release you. Okay. This is what this shit gonna be like for you. You may be able to maintain, but you're gonna be fighting off a lot of shit based off of the words of this person. Okay, seven of knives upright. Okay, see that pot right there in this deck. She put something in that pot. Okay, this is the who do deck. Okay, to fuck up with fuck with somebody. That's what they're going to do to you. They're going to steal from you. Okay, lie to you. Okay, I keep hearing eliminate, okay? And they're going to do this shit with a fucking smile like, I love you. Mm. Your world's coming to an end, motherfucker. They're going to take one of them knives back there. Okay. Stab you in the back, okay? Maybe feed you some fucking food, okay? To f uh, fuck your world and your realm up, okay? And they're going to do it with a smile. And this is what you're going to feel like John Horse in the reverse, the Emperor in the reverse, like you ain't worth a goddamn, okay? But... That's what's going on.
going to happen. But once again, it's going to set you free. Set your mind free. Set your soul free. Okay? I ain't talking about as soon as they do it. You're going to be like, I'm free. No. <laughs> what they call that dark night of the soul? You're going to, it's going to take you on a journey. Okay? To go within. All that you thought that you knew. All that you thought that you were. All the friends and all of this that you thought that you had. And all of that kind of stuff. Okay, it's going to come toppling on its head, okay, I am hearing, okay, and you're going to be free as a fucking bird by the time you grow and connect, to, woo, honey, I feel it, by the time you grow and connect to yourself and connect to your truth and who and what you truly are, it is going to be uh, magnificent, I am hearing, empowered, okay, and nobody will be able to stop it or take it from you, okay, you are going to go, about to go on a great mystical journey, I am hearing, I'm hearing, I heard mythical too, because that's what the fuck is going to seem like, a fucking myth, two popped out, but let's see, I think I only take, god damn, Gemini, look at this, proper burial for freedom, that's what the fuck is about to happen to you, motherfucker. This person is going to bury your motherfucking ass <laughs> for freedom. Okay? Alright? Let's see here. Sacrifice to Osiris, Lord of the Dead. Alright? Woo, honey, I get to sweating. When that shit is on point, I get tired. I was fine all the way up until that point. Alright, let me see. Let me find this for you. I'm not going to read the whole thing. In order for life to flow and express itself. See, you're not living life right now, okay? No love there. In order for life to flow and express itself, that which belongs to the world of death must be released, honey. This shit you holding on to belongs to the world of death, okay? There is nothing to... Look at this shit here. <laughs> there is nothing to be gained and everything to be lost by trying to hold on to that which no longer serves us which is better left to die though it takes great spiritual courage and trust to allow this to happen osiris lord of the dead guides you now to release that which no longer needs to be a part of your life so that you may be free boom shaka incantation to osiris this prayer can be said as an incantation at any time you feel you need healing, especially clearing of negative attachments, spirits, elements of the past, or just when you feel you need more of your own light in your being. Osiris, master of love and peace, bring my soul the light of, release, of relief. Through unconditional love and a heart that is true, I release that which should be returned to you. I surrender all not all not of unconditional love to your peaceful heart pure as the dove i am free from that which no longer lives new life and healing you now give i'm trying to tell you. to that which is due burial proper uh, and right we are all free now to grow with the light i am free to move on now thanks to you with unconditional love and what compassion too which you don't have what you need all right all right I certainly hope that resonated with some Gemini. I ask that you all like, share, and subscribe. To those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you. If you have not yet watched my videos, see now I'm cooling off. <laughs> hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, thumbs up, comment, come over, see what's happening here, and let's get into it. You all have, have favorite. Peace.